hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Steph Zingena and if you didn't already know that then you are new to this channel so change that by clicking on the red subscribe button below so you join the family and hit the notification bell as well so you get notified each time I upload a new video if you clicked on this video you're probably wondering why your hair isn't growing or why you aren't able to retain length so just sit put because you came to the right place and let's get right into it A lot of people say the hair isn't growing when in actual sense they aren't retaining length so if you are not experiencing balding thinning or excessive shedding then your hair is growing you're just not retaining length but if you're experiencing any of what i just mentioned then you're actually experiencing hair loss and your hair isn't growing so you should probably see a doctor or a healthcare practitioner because i am not so if it feels like your hair isn't growing and your hair is just stagnant like you're not seeing the length increasing your hair is growing you're just not retaining length it means your hair is breaking at the same rate at which it is growing you're breaking off as much hair as you're growing out so that's why your hair pretty much seems to be snack stagnant and on the same length so one of the reasons the first reason why you are not experiencing hair growth as you think is you don't know your hair if you don't know your hair texture porosity density you're going to be making uninformed decisions when it comes to your hair you're going to be making bad decisions and you're going to do the wrong things for your hair you're basically going to be giving your hair what it doesn't need and you are the first cause of your hair stagnation or your inability to retain length so you can change that by watching my videos i made videos on hair porosity density i have a whole natural hair series a whole natural hair playlist i'm going to link that in the cards on the screen and in the description box below so check that out i'm not going to elaborate much on that so because i already explained that in those videos the second reason why you're able to retain length is that you detangle improperly you probably comb your hair dry or you don't detangle in sections or you don't detangle your hair properly most people tend to just comb out their hair and that breaks your hair a lot of people don't know that you actually have to to spot your hair to separate your hair into sections moisturize it then detangle you cannot just be detangling dry hair you're basically breaking the hair so if you're doing that then you are the cause of your hair stagnation the next reason why you're probably unable to retain length is because you do not have a proper hair care regimen and a wash day routine so if you don't first of all if you don't understand any of the terms i'm mentioning in this video i got you i have a video on natural hair terms and definitions so you should check that out i'll have it linked in the cards as well so check that out because i won't be explaining the terms the video will be unnecessarily long so yeah you should have a proper hair care routine and a hair care regimen because that helps you to properly moisture to properly moisturize your hair and just take care of your hair it helps you to give your hair the moisture it needs and just the care it deserves third reason is you are over styling or over manipulating your hair so hair is fragile it doesn't need to be over styled our hair especially type 4 hair is very fragile it's very delicate and doesn't need to be over styled to be constantly plated loosened and replated it doesn't need all that stress if you do that too frequently or too often you're going to tangle your hair more break it more it's just going to make your hair weaker and more prone to breakage and damage the fifth reason is tight hairstyles and keeping your protective styles in for too long some people like just go straight three months with their braids and that is doing your hair more harm than good a lot of you think a lot of people actually let me not blame you watching <laughs> a lot of people think that when you're keeping your protective styles in for long it grows better and it grows longer the truth is after you take out that protective style especially braids you're going to have like accumulation of dirt at the end of the braids like on the boundary between your hair and the braiding hair so you're going to see that and that tends to break hair because haven't you noticed like you have you not noticed you who is watching and wondering why your hair isn't growing haven't you noticed that when you keep in your braids for too long and you just take them out you break your hair breaks a lot like you have a lot of breakage a lot of shedding and those knots that those uh the accumulation of products or dirt causes 
tend to get into your hair and for you to take out those knots you have to like actually cut out some hair that alone is breaking your hair and imagine you doing this like repeatedly that breaks a lot of hair so why are you surprised if you're doing this and your hair isn't growing and i don't need to over explain why tight hair breaks your hair because literally when you plate a hair when you do your hair and it's too tight you feel the paint like you see hair pulling off don't you so the next reason why you're unable to retain length is probably because you have hair damage so if you have colored hair or you use excessive heat on your hair then you're probably experiencing damage of some sort either heat damage or chemical damage firstly heat damage is caused when you apply excessive heat to your hair that dries off your hair making it weak and brittle it makes your hair easy to break and color or hair dye dries your hair so you will need an entire different hair care routine in order to properly to proper, properly <laughs> in order to properly moisturize your hair and just like return the moisture you dr you dried up with the color but most you are most likely to like not be able to reverse the situation because color damages your hair like a lot of you don't know this but color really does hair dye damages your hair in on several levels and you can really not get your hair back to where it was with color when after you dyed it you're probably going to have to cut off the ends the colored ends in order to like have black healthy hair the final point which a lot of us don't seem to consider is our diet and nutrition if you're not taking the right amount of proteins your hair isn't going to grow as well is because hair is basically protein so your hair is not going to be properly nourished like our diet affects both our skin our hair and nails everything so it shouldn't be shocking you that if you're eating the wrong um, uh, amount of proteins your hair is going to lack proteins and actually be weak and break so as water as well if you're not hydrating properly if you're not drinking enough water it's going to affect your hair too like moisturizing your hair isn't just about spraying water and putting all the right products on your hair because if you're not like consuming the right things if you're not eating the right things and drinking enough water then what is actually growing is going to be unhealthy so how do you treat what has grown unhealthy to what in reverse the situation of what has grown out unhealthy so take in the right amount of proteins and drink a lot of water that will help a lot so guys this brings us to the end of this video i hope it was helpful i hope you learned something that could help you better take care of your hair and better grow out your hair if you did please hit that like button smash the like button scatter the like button okay just so it really helps because youtube will know it'll help youtube know that people actually like my content and it'll help it push it to more people and just comment down below if you have any questions if you had any worries or any points if you have any points you think i did not mention in this video just comment it down below let us know in the comment section it will be highly appreciated thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and see you guys in my next video bye